how's it going youtube so welcome to another weekly videos from cracky solutions now i have a live version of kali linux operating system running on a virtual machine in my windows 10 so it's pretty much a very easy tutorial if you want to know how i did it stick around it's going to be a short one So the first thing we're going to do is to go over to our web browser and type in this link you see on your screen right now. It's also going to be down in the description box, so go ahead and check it out. So if you want to download VirtualBox, just go ahead and type in this link right here. And it should take us to a page that looks like this one. And we are going to just go ahead and click on this big download button right here. And it's going to take us to a page, another page that looks like this. So you can find the Linux and the Windows host right here. So I'm on a Windows PC, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on Windows host and you should just start your download automatically so for the file it is 103 mb so guys depending on your network speed this is going to take probably from 8 minutes to 10 minutes so i'm just going to pause this right away because i already have mine installed so i'm just going to go ahead and minimize this you know and go over to our download folder to find this virtual box so i'm just going to go ahead and click on it and it says preparing to install so you're going to give it time now once we're onto this page go ahead and click on next so we're just going to go and uh, go ahead and ignore all of these so I'm just going to click on next so right here i'm going to uncheck this and this right here because we don't want this to happen so we're going to go ahead and click on next and yes so we're going to go ahead and click on install right here and it's going to start your install so it's going to literally take at least five minutes So guys, you know how I said this is going to take literally five, at least five minutes. It took nothing more than two minutes to install. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this checked and go ahead and click finish. All right, guys, for us to get our Kali Linux ISO file, and we're going to be going over to Kali.org. So it's going to be the link in the description box of this video. So go ahead, click on it, and it should take you to this page right here. So once you're on this page, we are going to click on this download right here. So once you click on the download, it's going to take you to this exact page right here so if we want to download it we are going to go ahead and click virtual machine because we're going to be needing an iso file so we're going to go ahead and download it for virtual machine so we're going to go ahead and click virtual machine then we're going to go over to live boot over here because we're going to be downloading kalu kali live so we're going to come over here and click on live so this is the live boot here it says a kali live image access to a full blah blah blah, blah. So we are just going to be going ahead to download an ISO file so that we can be able to load it up on our virtual machine. And at the end of this video, I'm also going to show you how to create a bootable USB drive for Kali Live version of this. So now this live version is going to basically allow you to be able to just run it instead of installing, going through the process of installation. So you're just going to go ahead and click on this download right here. But by the way, if you're on a 32-bit computer, you're just going to go over here and click on the 32-bit and also if you're on your mac pc as apple so you're just going to go ahead and just you know you know what to do so i'm on a 64 bit pc and by the way if you want to check your pc type just go back to your windows menu bar and type in this pc so we're going to go like this this pc and right click and it's going to ask you for properties go ahead and click on properties so i'm on a 64 bit operating system right here so this process is similar on the windows 8 but if you're on the windows 7 or windows 11 you can go ahead and check it your own way but i am on a 64 bit so but so back to the website i'm just going to go ahead and highlight my 64 bit and click on this download okay now we're going to head on to our download folders to locate our iso file so i'm just going to go ahead and send this to my desktop for easy easy workflow so i'm just going to go ahead and move this right here and close this up now we have to go back to our virtual machine all right guys so here is it so what we're going to do right now is to go ahead and create new right here so let's go ahead and click on new so we're going to just name this anything we want so i'm going to go ahead and type in kali linux so we're going to leave this as a linux right here and version we're going to go ahead to debian 64 so this debian 64 is preferably the best you know for your download because i obviously downloaded a 64-bit version of this my iso file so i'm just going to go ahead and select a debian 64 but if you downloaded a 32-bit version of the okali linux you can go ahead and click on 32-bit version so i'm just going to go ahead and click on my 64-bit like so so it should look like this basically so you're just going to allocate memory size i'm just going to allocate if you go more than this you know across this red range it's going to say an error so i'm just going to go ahead and give it around 1.4 gigabyte so 
we are going to go ahead and create leave it as create a virtual disk now so i'm just going to go ahead and create okay so it says right here that a folder is already existing because i already i think i already have kali Linux already here so i'm going to go ahead and, and type in kali kali live to to tutorials So Kali Life tutorials that is what I'm going to be using right now. So I'm going to go ahead and click on DBN64 once again. And hopefully this should not have me any problem. So I'm going to go ahead and create. So once you click on that create, it should bring you to a page that looks like this one right here. So I'm going to just basically leave this as it is. So you can um you can at the same time also allocate size. So I'm just going to go ahead and allocate 40 gig for my so I'm just going to go ahead and allocate 40. Okay, 41 basically. So we're going to leave this as dynamically allocated. So VDI virtual desk image, blah, blah, blah. We're going to leave everything as it is. So if this is not checked, go ahead and check this out. But this is what we actually need. So but once we're done, you know, with our setting, selecting our file, basically, we're just going to go ahead and create. And then it should be located somewhere around this whole area. So here is my own right here. So this is my here. So we are not yet done. We are going to go ahead and select our Kali Live tutorial, the one we created just now, and go over to settings. So the settings is opening. Now what we need to do is just uh, simple. We are going to leave it at this and go over to system and then processor. And you know, I'm going to allocate it uh, to two CPUs right here so that if your if your PC can allow you allocate more than up more than two, you can go ahead and do that as well. Cause there's no reason for us to hold back because we want our Kali Linux to be running smoothly. So I'm just, allocate, I'm just going to be allocating two CPUs because that is the amount my system is allowing me to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to storage. Then uh, we are going to go over to controller IDE and click, click on this. Then also come over to this disk icon right here. Click on it. Then uh, choose a disk file. So like I said, mine is in the desktop. You can go ahead and locate it wherever your own is. But... I moved mine to the desktop so basically check for you so this is my own right here i'm just going to go ahead and click on it then open it so this name should be here to make to be sure that we are good to go so once we are done we are going to just go ahead and click ok so if you if you are having this error having having to finish this process go ahead and check this video right here check out this video right here it's a solution to this problem so it's also going to be the link in the description box if you have this error system acceleration page so go ahead and check it out and hopefully it should help you out then you can come back and continue you know watching this video so now that we are done we're just going to go ahead and click on our kali live tutorial and fire it up by just simply pressing start it's pretty easy so it's going to take a little time it's going to take some time to just you know load up but we're going to wait okay so this is what it, it looks like right here so you said select startup disk so we're going to leave this as it is if you find kali linux here leave it as it is so i'm going to go ahead and click on start okay now it's on to this page now what we need to do is to select live 64 so we are on live 64 so go ahead and click on enter to select your live 64 or your live 32 so make sure it's live and voila we have our kali linux right here so if you want to know how okay now we have our Kali Linux right here. So we can go ahead and go over to our terminal and you know start typing codes basically. So um so guys if you have any problem regarding this video, drop it down in the comment section. And also if you want to know how to make your Kali Linux, your Kali virtual machine go full screen like mine is half. Um it's not full screen, it's cut to you know square. But if you want to make yours go full screen, just go ahead and click on any of these videos you see on your screen right now. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Well, without further ado, I will see you on Monday.